Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an experiment to see if these Pro Press fittings are actually stronger than Shark Bites or Push fittings. They both seal using an O ring, however, the rest of the fitting is quite different, so let's try it out. Just like when soldering, proper pipe preparation is crucial. To install the copper press fitting, the first step is to push it onto the pipe as far as it will go, then mark the edge using a permanent marker. This will come in handy later for inspecting the joint. Here is the one downside of press fittings. They require an expensive specialized tool. You can buy a manual version like this one for about $100, but if you're doing a lot of joints, you'll want an electric one, and those cost over $1,000, with most models being around $2,000. However, they're both super easy to use. With the electric, you just press the button. With these manual ones, you have to pump up the hydraulic hand pump, but it only takes a couple minutes to make each joint from start to finish, and there's no open flames or chemicals required. Overall, copper press fittings are quite easy to work with. They just require expensive tools, which is the only real downside. Here's the completed copper press connection. Now let's install the push fitting on the other end of this test piece. The push fitting is super easy to install. No special tools are required. After the pipe has been prepared, you just grab the fitting and push it onto the pipe as far as it will go. Comparing them side by side, you can see the obvious differences between these two fitting systems. Taking a look at the press fitting, you can see how it's permanently pressed onto the pipe and the o-ring inside that ridge has been compressed onto the pipe as well, ensuring a long-lasting seal. Meanwhile, the push fitting can be rotated after installation. That's because the o-ring is secured by that plastic retainer and a metal grip ring inside. This makes the connection a lot less reliable and more susceptible to leaks over time. Now we're ready for the pressure test. I have clamped this test piece into my bench vise and I'm filling it up to the top with water. Next, I gently tap the side of the pipe just to remove any air bubbles that may cause a problem during the pressure test. Here I have a solid steel pipe plug. When I tighten this into that female adapter, the overall volume of the system will decrease and this will cause the pressure to increase significantly because water is not compressible. As I tighten that plug and increase the pressure inside the system, the push fitting fails quite quickly. It's blown out the seal at the bottom and water is now leaking out. Meanwhile, the press fitting on top held strong with no leaks. Here's the footage from my slow motion camera. You can see the moment that that push fitting fails. The main weakness of these push fittings is their reliance on that yellow plastic retainer. Under high pressure, that retainer deformed, allowing the fitting to leak. Taking a closer look at that failed connection, you can see that the push fitting has been permanently deformed and the press fitting is holding up just fine. Despite the identical 200 PSI pressure ratings of both fittings, the press fitting is clearly a lot more reliable and holds up better to high pressure. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you all next time.